Is Godot better than Unity? No. Well, maybe. I guess it's subjective. So I'm going to give you my thoughts so far on using Godot. Now, a quick disclaimer, I've only been using the game engine for two weeks now, and what you're seeing is what I've made in those two weeks. I've not even touched multiplayer or 2D yet, and I'm probably not going to touch 2D in the future if I'm being honest. But anyway, I'm going to talk about the workflow, coding, 3D nodes, bugs, and documentation slash tutorials. And remember, this is from a Unity developer's perspective, so you're allowed to disagree. Let's start with the workflow. I'm going to disagree with the majority and say I don't think Godot is more beginner friendly than Unity, and I wouldn't say the workflow is just better than Unity's either. Let me explain. Let's use creating a cube for example. In Unity it's just right click and create cube and that's it, you're done. You can duplicate, move and scale cubes however you want. In Godot you have to first create a static body, then add a mesh instance and select cube, and then add a collider instance and select cube again. Now we can scale the cube however we want, right? Nope. You get this warning, which tells you to change the collider shape size and mesh scale individually, so the collision shape scale can stay uniformed. That's still not that bad, right? Well, hold on. For some reason, collision shapes in the same scene share the same size values. So you can't just duplicate and scale them differently. So essentially you have to create a new scene for every different shape size you want. So the main pro with this workflow is that it forces you to work more modular. But I'd argue that it's almost too modular. And Unity already allows you to work more modular with prefabs. It just doesn't force you. So I'm used to creating a player and then stacking him with components and scripts. But in Godot, a node can only have one script attached to it. And I know it's just personal preference, but I'd rather have one node with all the player states attached than to have a node for each state. It makes the node tree messier and it also makes referencing the scripts a little harder. Now the last thing I'm going to complain about is that there's no live runtime scene in Godot which does make debugging harder, but it's not a deal breaker for me. And I did find that you can still edit variables live, which is good for tweaking stuff. Now I'm using Godot with .NET and so far editing and saving scenes and scripts has been pretty much instant, which is actually amazing after coming from Unity that just sometimes had an infinite loading bug. I know I complained a bit about the workflow, but at the end of the day, most of it is just preference and the size and speed of the engine in my opinion makes up for it. So I chose to use C Sharp in my Godot project, and yes, I know there's very few Godot C Sharp tutorials, and there supposedly is limitations with C Sharp, but regardless, C Sharp is home to me, and I don't want to say goodbye to my semicolons and curly braces that smile back at me. Also I've seen that C Sharp has better performance than GDScript, and I'm also yet to encounter any limitations with C Sharp. Anyway, let's talk about the issues I've had. There's no simple solution for invoking a method after time. So if this is unclear, in Unity you could simply call a method after time with this function. And I used to use this all the time in Unity. Now I've looked everywhere for a similar alternative to this, but I couldn't find one. So I ended up just making a script to do this for me, but it would still be nice to have this function in the node class out of the box. You can't edit custom types in the property editor. So if I create a class with some variables, and then create an object of that, I can't export that and see the object in the property editor which is actually kind of annoying because I used to use this feature all the time in Unity. Raycasts are overcomplicated. So, as you can see here, Godot's raycasts are a bit more work than Unity's. Let's start with having to create an object just to pass through as a parameter, which isn't that bad, but the more annoying part is that it returns a dictionary. So you need to know different key values to get the values you want. But before you can get that value, you have to check if the value even exists. And then lastly, you have to convert it to the variable type you need. I'm not sure why they didn't just make it return an object like Unity does, but anyway, I made the script to do this for me. And as you can see here, it makes my code cleaner, but most importantly, I don't have to mess around with the dictionary. There's no root node. So in Unity, you can call transform.root on any object and get the root object which I used to use all the time when I'm dealing with child colliders or child components. But in Godot, there's only one root node, which is the scenes node, and all the other nodes are children of it. So you end up having to count the parents acquired and then use .getParent multiple times to get to the node you require, which is time consuming, kind of messy, and pretty bug prone in my opinion. 
So there's a bit more to discuss like spawning scenes, getting the forward direction, local and global positions, blah blah blah. All in all, even though I complained a bit again, coding in Godot really isn't too different to Unity. And there's not a huge reason to choose Unity over Godot when it comes to coding. Let's start with the particle system, or GPU particles I should say. Godot's GPU particles is very similar to Unity's particle system in my opinion. It's just missing a few features, like not being able to rotate 3D particles. However, it can still definitely make most effects that I need. The animation tree is a big topic. I'd argue that it's actually better than Unity's animator because there's quite literally no limits. For example, you can have a blend tree inside a blend space inside a state manager that's inside another state manager, which is how my current animator is working. Now you can also argue that it's behind Unity's because it's just missing a few features. Let's start with transitions only change if a bool is true. So you can't transition if a bool is false for some reason, which means you have to create two bools just for transitioning to running for example. There's also no trigger parameter. So if I just want to transition to an attack animation and return when it's complete, I have to set a bool to true and then set it to false after the transition is complete. And there's a bunch more issues like not having a float as a parameter type, not being able to have multiple parameters, no any state tool and not being able to reuse parameters. Hopefully these features get added in the future because I really love how limitless Godot's animation tree is. The Skeleton 3D node. I'll be honest, at first I was annoyed I couldn't just parent objects to his hand by drag and dropping, but I soon realised that using the bone attachment node makes the node tree a lot cleaner, and it also makes it so much easier to reference bone attachments. So I think Godot might actually have the edge over Unity with this feature. The spring arm node is what I use for the camera controller in this project, and yeah, I love it. I actually would say I prefer it over Unity's cinema machine because it's just so much simpler and I prefer making changes through code than having to mess around with a bunch of settings. Godot's standard material shader is kind of amazing. It's used for everything from particles to 3D models, and has so many really useful options like proximity fade, distance fade, and billboard, which is how I made this grass without even having to touch a shader. Overall, I love having so many options on the standard material shader, and I think it has the edge over Unity here again. The only features I noticed were missing were the line renderer and the trail renderer. Hopefully they get added in the future because I used to use Unity's line and trail renderer all the time. There's a lot of pros and cons when comparing Godot's 3D nodes to Unity's components, and I think it mainly comes down to each dev's personal requirements. I've had a few minor bugs with Godot, such as not being able to see exported variables, material textures not updating, and probably the biggest one was moving scripts to cause an error with scenes. Although I was able to quickly fix this by opening it in Notepad and updating the script file path. Every game engine has bugs, and Godot is no exception, but I'd say it's very comparable to Unity. As everyone already knows, most tutorials and community help is for GDScript. However, most of the time you can easily convert the solution you find to C-sharp by looking it up in Godot's documentation. I found that the best place to find a solution is just to go straight to the docs, because most of the time even if I did find C-sharp community help, it was outdated. C-sharp aside, there's plenty of tutorials out there for nodes and features, and if you're using GDScript, then there's more than enough tutorials out there to get started. To sum it up, you can argue that Godot is better because it's open source and it's the community driven engine, but you can also argue that Unity is better because from my experience it's still slightly ahead with features, rendering and the c -sharp library. But I think the biggest factor should be the direction the game engine is going. And right now Unity is on a decline, and Godot is looking like the open source saviour we all needed. So with that being said, my humble opinion is Godot is better than Unity.